is uh, run, 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 runs the favorite um, ballot of Joe Bell. Does the world seem like a cruel, cold place? Do you feel you like to hide your face behind a mask? Does God hate you? And if that's true, do you wonder why he created you? And may I ask the people whom you once held dear, now look away when you come near, but nothing said. Does everybody want to see you swinging from a gallows tree? Until you're dead. Whenever your dad hears you're all around, does he cringe, spit mucus on the ground, and divert his eyes? Does your mom talk weather? And when she's done, does she hug you and say you're still her son? As she cries, did the sheriff slam your bedroom door, pull you from bed, you're on the floor, hands cuffed behind? All this because of who you are. They're after us. They're so bizarre and so unkind. Behind steel bars, there's only time, so grab a chair, sit back while I'm telling a tale. The tale of how I came to be convicted of a felony and thrown in jail. Sweet Georgia in the hot south sun where you say hello to everyone as the hooch flow. Atlantic City, Savannah Beach, piping hot grits and ice cold pits where the cotton blows. My name's Joe Bell. When I was 10, I began to look at older men and this scared me. And on my block was a girl named Jessie for just two bucks. She lift her dress and let you see. I was 10, I stole my old man's 20. She laughed and said, I'll give you plenty more than a peek. She took me to a broken shed. We lay down in a broken bed. My knees got weak. She kissed my face. She kissed my lips, my inner thighs, my chest, my hips. Again and again. It's not supposed to stay this size, she said. <laughs> I closed my tearful eyes and thought of men. So no one knew till age 14 when John Smith found a magazine under my bed. I'm never telling you we swore you're queer. You ain't no friend no more to me or dead. Sometimes some friends would want to know why is it I don't ever go out on a date. I tell them I was very shy. One day the racket will come by. I'll have to wait. I had a teacher at age 14. The girl said he looked just like James Dean, but he was cuter. Tenth grade English, my grades were high. It surprised me when he asked if I needed a tutor. While walking to his house that night, there was tense fear, immense delight I couldn't wait. My knees were weak, my heart was pounding. I thought I'd puke while I was rounding his front yard gate. Before I knocked on his front door, he opened it and stood before me with a smile. How are you, Joe? He said, come in, I'm glad you came. Soon we'll begin. Let's talk a while. He caressed the couch, said sit by me. And as I, and as I sat, he brushed my knee with his left hand. And as his right hand brushed my cheek, he said, tell me a secret, speak. I'll understand. I broke into tears and told him how I never told a soul to that I like God. And as I spoke, he took my hand and said, it's all right, I understand. He wiped my eyes. At 17, I took a trip to Atlanta, where the bars are ahead and the men are gay. I met a man, his name is Mike, said, sleep at my place if you like. I said, okay. I'd see Mike weekends, mom demanded, stay home. But dad's so understand and leave him alone. When I was his age, I had two. If he knocks her up, what will we do? My mom Late one night, the stars were out. Mike's hand in mine, I heard a shout. I turned my head, a swinging bat of blinding light. We fell down hard. And all that night, we bled, we bled. 20 hours of bartender. And Fred came in, a real big spending older man, drinking scotch and leaving tips and watching me while taking sips. Gray hair, dark hair. A banker for the Midland Bank has left the bar, my stomach sank. But he returned. He said he'd stop by Saturday. He shook my hand and walked away. And my hand burned. Saturday night, a dim lamp light, my bedpost shook with my delight. My room was spitting. My apartment, a crashing storm crazy. What's good for you, I asked? While he just lay there grinning. Well, what's with Fred? My dad would yell. You better answer me, Joe Bell. Not me too old. You're turning me into a goddamn nut. Open your mouth and tell me what. I already know. Beer can in a paper bag, right sun beats on a thirsty bag. A policeman saw me outside with the open beer, said, son, you can't be drinking here, it's against the law. 
He read my license, smiled real wide, said, here's your ticket, drink inside. Have a nice day. When I got home, I looked at Fred. I threw that ticket on the bed, yelled, I won't pay. Two weeks, my party, Friday at 8. Fred, I said it softly, I can't wait, time we departed. Slipped past the guest, slipped to my room, we closed the door. And I assume that's when it started. Either rang the bell or knock, sue her, put down her drink, unlock the door. Oh dear, she gasped. Is something wrong? Yes, ma'am, you said I don't have long. Is Joe Bell help? Gray uniform, white cowboy hat. He was huge and strong, his stomach fat for drinking booze. The sheriff's badge pinned on his chest. An official warrant for my arrest. And steel tipped shoes. I need to take him in today. There's a ticket that he didn't pay. So where is he? She pointed to my room and said, I think they're in there, him and Fred, but, 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 but I think they're busy. He cracked the door and peeked inside. He saw that slammed it open wide, pulled me from bed. I hit the wood floor painfully. He cuffed my hands in back of me. Then went for Fred. Fred, straight and queer, sat row by row. Mom wasn't there because Dad said no. The judge looked grim. Black row, red eyes stared hatefully. And the prosecutor winked at me when I looked at him. The judge said, Jerry, before we start, please use the law and not your heart. Let's get this free. Fellatio is sodomy, and sodomy is a felony in this hair state. The prosecutor began to cite Bowers v. Hardwick, where Justice White of the Supreme Court, after a vote of five to four, said privacy doesn't exist anymore. My trial was short. Bowers v. Hardwick. A case like mine is still the state's right to define what's moral, what's not. A fascist state where the hate queers can lock us up for 20 years. To rot and rot. Inside the cell, I curse my fate. They say I'm an enemy of the state. Now I feel their hatred pounding in my blood. I'd kill them all now if I could break balls of steel. Does the world seem like a poop hole place? I feel you like to hide your face behind a mask. God hate you, and if that's true, do you wonder, and since that's true, do you wonder why he created you? Just thought I'd ask. 